Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Thomas. I got a big announcement. Halbert, back at it again with yet another video. <laughs> so before we get into today's video, I have a huge, 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 huge announcement to share with all of you guys. I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour. It's sort of official. I'm going on tour this fall. Fall. Now, if you guys are wondering why little old me is even going on tour, I get it. I get it. Like, what am I? What? What am I gonna do on tour? Trust and believe. You are not the only one to ask that. I asked that as well. So I am going on a interactive beauty tour type of thing. Planning side of the actual tour is still in the works, of course, because I don't even know where to go. I don't even know what cities you guys want me to come to, which is why it is so important for you to request your city. Seriously, it takes like three seconds of your time please request your city let me know where you want me to go to i'm super excited it's going to be super super fun um we're thinking about goodie bags we're thinking about um a master class we're gonna be doing challenges um i'm been really i've been trying to push um audience members to do my makeup so like we do like a raffle thing and uh whatever raffle number i call a person comes from the crowd and does like my foundation and then the next person does my brows like it's gonna be so so much fun it's gonna be like a super interactive tour um there's gonna be meet and greets vip um everything everything under the sun and it's gonna be super fun and i can't wait to go on tour but again i can't go on tour unless i know where to go so please go to tourdemand.live forward slash thomas dash halbert dash tour request your city it only takes two seconds it doesn't matter what part of the world you live on you can request your city your town your country whatever I'll put it on the screen, link it down below, and it'll be linked in the pinned comment in the comment section as well. I will have it linked everywhere. Request your city. Everyone that goes to the tour will have a meet and greet with me. You will get to meet me personally, and we get to chat and take photos. It's going to be so much fun, and I'm super excited. I, the planning process so far has been super fun, but again, I don't know what cities to go to. So request your city, and yeah, let's get right into the video. This video is gonna be a complete 180 from my last video. It was, if you haven't seen that video, it's me trying $1,000 worth of luxury makeup. This video, sis, I'm doing a full face of Dollar Store Dollar Tree makeup. I'm super excited about this. Me and Dollar Tree have like this personal bond. Um, I grew up very, very poor, and Dollar Tree was definitely one of those stores that my mom would always take me to. And it was all—it was always one of those stores where I could run around, and they would have like a bunch of toys and a bunch of cool random stuff everywhere. And I usually got away with getting whatever I want at the Dollar Tree because it was all usually just a dollar. But I never actually got to uh, explore the makeup side of the Dollar Tree because obviously the last time I was at the Dollar Tree, I was a little bit younger. And um, yeah, so today, full face of Dollar Tree makeup. I'm super excited. If you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you a part of this little family over here. We're pretty chill and we enjoy memes. Be sure to hit that bell notification button because I've been getting a lot of tweets lately saying that you guys are not getting notifications and the way to fix that is you go to your um you click on the notification bell button and then you click on all so you get all notifications from me that means every single video i upload you'll be notified for um sometimes you click the bell notification button and it automatically sets to random notifications so sometimes you won't get a notification from me don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up as well it helps me out a lot and comment down below do you have any favorite products at the dollar store it doesn't have to be just the dollar tree it could be like dollar general um dollar tree the 99 cent store anywhere do you have any favorite products like that you use regularly in your makeup routine let me know in the comment section down below and if i don't talk about it today maybe i'll go pick it up and try it out for myself all right enough rambling i know this intro is long enough and let's get on into this video. Oh my god, you can see those little, when I take my glasses off, I get little nodules right here. Now, I used to never get that, but lately I'm getting like those little, those little nodule things. Oh my god, it's the worst when I wear makeup. Oh my god. Now, I went to the Dollar Tree. Now, I only went to one location, um, so I don't know if this is the same for every location, but there wasn't the biggest selection of like shades or... Uh, any makeup product. So first up, we're gonna start off with brows, and I got three products. Um, one from our gel, it's the Brow Building Fiber Gel, which is like one of those brow mascaras. And then we have the Color Mates Brow Powder. And then the LA Colors, this is so weird. This is like um, an eye brow pencil and sharpener. It's for the eyes. 
and for the eyebrows. It only comes in the shade black. They say we can do our brows with it. I'm gonna try it because I hate doing my brows with just powder like I do. Like I just want to see if it comes out black or if it's like buildable. So it's like an eyeliner and brow pencil from LA Colors. I'm just gonna play around. We're playing around with makeup. We're gonna see what she can do. Okay. Well, first things first, it is definitely, I'm barely touching my brow, so it's definitely pigmented. Okay, so I'm just going to take these off. You guys obviously saw how that worked out. Um, I'm going to try to use the brow pomade because I honestly want to see how the brow pomade works or the brow, um, the brow powder. So I'm going to take this Color Mats or Color Mates brow powder. So this is what she looks like. It comes with two powders and a brush, but... I don't want the brush. I'm going to clean up this Zoeva brush from all that black powder. And I'm going to dip into the deeper shade right here. Ooh. Actually looks like it might be a little pigmented. And I'm just going to start filling in my brows. Whoa. That's pigmented. I'm going to keep it real with you. The actual powder itself. Not bad. Kind of reminds me of the Wet n Wild brow powder. The color, however, a bit orange. I don't know. I just think if you're like a, like if you have natural orange tones in your hair or something, I feel like this could be a moment, a look for you. However, we're very, we're giving very um, polar opposites here. We have very cool, ashy gray hair, and then we have fucking orange dark brows and i honestly could not find any other shades even the lighter shade in here is orange it's like a lighter orange shade it does it does the job like again these are nice brows like these are these are good brows just the shade is a little off moving on to face stuff so it was actually kind of very difficult to find um foundation uh i have three different options here i have this compact from color mates uh, and light medium. This looks like a nightmare for my skin. Um, and then we have the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation. Oh, and by the way, these are all the shades they offer. So. And then we have a BB cream, but we don't, we don't do BB creams here. We do full coverage in this house. Trying to not play myself here. I think I'm going to go into the moisturizing, moisturizing, mo <sighs> The moisturizing foundation. So this is the Sassy and Chic Moisturizing Foundation. Everyone say a little prayer for my skin right now because <sighs> caution for a oh my god, there's a warning on the back of this foundation. I don't think I've ever seen a foundation come with a warning on the back of it. Caution for adult use only, for external use only. Avoid contacts with eyes or lips. Discontinue, discontinue use if irritation or rash occurs. Should I even put this on my skin? Fuck it. Let's do it. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do this thing. Okay. Oh. This might be doing something. It is moisturizing. It feels so heavy, though. Okay, so a couple things. This has been on my face for, like, five minutes. It feels awful it feels so bad um it's like it's it says moisturizing but what i think by moisturizing they mean like greasy there's barely any coverage it smells bad i don't like it so i'm gonna try to make this better by going in with my favorite concealer because i don't have any concealer unfortunately um to use so i'm just gonna go into my Too faced super coverage concealer my favorite concealer right now seriously the best concealer Ever. Just concealing a little bit. Not, nothing too crazy. Nothing nothing too crazy. There's like no loose powder at all that I could find. Um, so I'm just going to use this lighter shade and this contour kit from LA Colors to kind of set my under eyes when I get done blending out the concealer. It's the shade Light, by the way. This concealer and foundation is not mixing well. Oh my god, like at all. Okay, so I'm just going to go into my Morphe. E48 brush, which is actually discontinued, so sorry about that. Uh, and I'm going to dip into this lighter shade and set these under eyes. This smells like chemicals going in. I mean, fuck it, I might as well just kind of set around here as well. 
So taking this powder, this contour powder, I'm going to um, <laughs> go into my Smith 112 brush and just kind of uh, contour the face with this shade. Okay. I'm gonna take this and kind of maybe hopefully blend this out, buff, buff it out maybe. That's a little bit better. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to bronze the face a little bit. I can smell, I can literally smell all this makeup on my face. I can smell all of it. So next for a blush, I picked up the LA Colors Powder Blush. This was the only shade that they had. Um, and it also can, it also has like sparkles in it. So it can also be used as a highlighter because I could not find a highlighter anywhere. anywhere. Um, and this is in the shade of Spice. And I'm going to use that to kind of bloosh these face of mine. My face feels so freaking like cakey and heavy right now. This is kind of giving me some NARS orgasm vibes. Anyone else? Oh my god, is that just a spray over? That's super pigmented though. Like that might be a winner. Like that's, that might be, a, that might, this might be pretty sickening. Let's see. So I'm going to use the brush that it came with. I just, I just have to use this brush that it came with. This little flimsy ass brush. I just want to see. Yeah, this has to be like pick. Oh, <laughs> there it all went. Nope, I can't. I can't. I can't use this brush. That was a little bit more pigmented than I thought it would be. That looks nothing like Nars Orgasm. Blend, 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 blend. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. This is actually kind of cute. If they, if you can find more colors in this, this blush isn't bad. It's a little pigmented, so be careful. I kind of messed up there with that. But other than that, like, it's kind of like, it's cute. It does the job for sure. Okay, so I'm just going to go into this Sassy and Chic lip gloss because I feel like my lips feel a little, a little, just a little dry. This is what she looks like. Ooh. It smells so good too. Probably to hide all that chemical smell. Oh, wait a minute. This might be doing something. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh my God, this is actually kind of sickening. It's hella sticky, but like, do you see this? I mean, I'm kind of living. I'm gonna be real. I'm kind of living sassy and chic. Ooh. It's definitely sticky though, but. All right, so I picked up a few LA. I picked up a few LA color eyeshadow palettes. Um, we have Supernatural, Chic, Chic, and then Traditional, which is like your regular tones. Um, so I don't know. These are all mattes, I believe. So there is only mattes in these palettes. I did see some that had shimmers in it as well, but that's it. Um. I'm gonna be basic, Miss Traditional here. I just feel like being simple and basic today. And it comes with one of those. Okay, so I'm gonna go into Miss Traditional. Let me prime my eyes with my regular old Urban Decay primer potion. They did not have any eye primers at the dollar store that I could find. So I'm first gonna go into this shade right here with this Makeup Shack T50 brush. Buffing that into the eyelid. I did not set my uh, eyeshadow base because I do not really do that anymore. Especially with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, it doesn't really need it. Kind of dries down a little bit. I know you guys wanted me to do like one of the colored ones, but I don't want to do... I don't want to like fuck around with color. I don't want to play myself like that. I'm actually trying to give like a nice cohesive look that most of you can like actually do and would would actually want to wear to like work. And I feel like why would I want to do like blue eyeshadow? I'm going to take the Smith 235 brush and go into this shade and kind of just deepen it up just a little bit, just a little, 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 little bit. If anything will come on to the, there we go. And that is doing nothing. <laughs> <gasps> Fabulous. Fabulous. That's exactly what I was going for. I was going for the nothing look. I mean, it's doing something. It's doing a little something. It's doing a little something. Something, something, something. 
Girl, that's a girl, that's a simple everyday moment. It's actually quite cute. I'm gonna run this on the lower lash line. Give like a grunge moment. This is cute, right? Like this is she's she's cute. She's a cute girl. Well that's that on that. <laughs> I think this is cute. Like if you need like a little laid back, subtle moment for your eye. I feel like this is cute. Like it does for one dollar, it does what it needs to do for like a cute smoky like you see this it's like a cute little smoky it's cute oh my god i just realized i didn't even freaking use this uh brow mascara thing wow thomas the ardell brow building fiber gel in the shade brown deep brown whoa whoa this is actually kind of sickening so it has fibers in it to give you like give the illusion of bushier brows. I wonder what this looks like on its own. Okay, so next on the list, I have liquid eyeliner. Now I did want to try this out because I'm on the search. Because I feel like it, liquid eyeliner does not mean to be so expensive. So this is LA Colors Ultimate Liquid Eyeliner Precision Eyeliner. It's like it's an eyeliner, guys. It's an eyeliner. Oh, it's like one of those felt tip ones. Uh, I don't know about this one. Hopefully I don't fuck up my face. Oh no, already? Oh. 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 Um. Huh. Dude, what the f- So I think the best way to use this product is with an angled brush and just like take some on the- from the tip of it because this applicator is trash garbage. Let me see if I can do a better one on this side. Okay. Okay, that's that's a little bit better. So let's just move on to mascara. So the only mascara I got is the LA Colors Volume Mascara um, in Rich Black. Thickens lashes. It's just really just very great. There's not really much I liked in this video. So I think the brow mascara so far is my fave. It's doing a really good job at lengthening my eyelashes. Thickening. Thickening. Thickening, uh, not so much. If you have naturally curly lashes, I think this mascara would look really pretty on your lashes because it's doing a very good job at separating and coating the lashes. So the lipstick I'm going to use today is from Color Mattes and it is in the shade Ginger, Ginger Spice. It comes with a lip liner and a lipstick. It's, I think that's such a good steal for $1. So that's the shade I'm going to go in today and the, the lipstick I'm going in today. Ooh, it's actually a really nice shade and lip liner. Ooh. Kind of reminds me of the NYX, the NYX lip liners. Have any of you tried those? Yo, this lip liner that comes in this little kit is sickening, girl. Over it. Wait, let me just swatch this. Okay, so this is not very pigmented at all. Nor is it ma and it smells like Play-Doh, so. Okay, so the only things I liked in this, and I'm just gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit so you can get like a full the real tea, girl. The real tea. Let's turn this down. Give you guys the real effing tea here. Look at this. Mm -mm. Actually, it doesn't look too bad. The foundation doesn't look that bad. As bad as I thought it would look. Like, gonna keep it real. Um, but it still feels very heavy. And it just doesn't feel great on the skin. I like the blush um, eyeliner. Girl, eyeliner. 
is a no from me. Brows would have been amazing if the shade was different. Blush, sickening. Eyeshadow palette, you know. Lip liner and that little lip kit thing. Kylie is quaking, by the way. Uh, all uh, really good. Lipstick is trash. <laughs> Contouring kit, not that great. You know, I thought this video was going to go very differently. And here we are. <laughs> here we are at the end of it. And this is what we've gotten. My lips are kind of burning right now. So I'm going to quickly take this, uh, lipstick off because that's like, it's like literally giving me like a tingling sensation on my lips all right you guys this is it i i i know i'm sorry i was thinking this would be so much more different than what it is right now but here we are in this situation there's not much we can do i want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video anyways supporting me again i'm going on tour don't forget to request your city the links will be down below they'll be in the description in the comment section and on the screen. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye guys.